what I appreciate the most about being a South Bay Laker is um, how serious everybody takes professionalism and being a, a good person um, on and off the court. I feel like, you know, every team is obviously going to look for the best player, but I feel like we have a culture that is prided on creating uh, the best people and trying to shape, you know, everybody to be the best professional that they can be, realizing what's acceptable, what's unacceptable, you know, leading by example for the younger guys, trying to be, um, you know, as respectful as you can to everybody that's, you know, in the same building that's trying to help you and by doing their job to help you. So um, building that character and um, the strong, I think, aspects of being a, a, a true professional is what makes me um, proud to, to say that I'm a South Bay Laker. If somebody was to put on a tape of a game this year and said, I want to find out what Justin Harper is and what his game is like right now, what, what game would you point them to? Probably say the OKC game on the road. Not just because like, I hit a shot that you know, put us ahead down the stretch, but everything that leading up to that, we, uh, we were down for most of the game. And I felt like you know, I was a, a pretty decent spark off the bench to kind of you know, kind of right the ship as far as, you know, staying solid defensively, but hitting some shots and kind of just trying to keep us positive because the game is never over, you know, until, the, until that final horn blows. And we were able to come back from, I, feel, I believe, a double-digit deficit and, uh, you know, get the win on the road, a big win for us at the time where we were in a tough stretch. So I'll probably say the OKC guy. You know, we had a really young group. Um, I feel like, you know, me, Dre, um, t Ware. Um, Spence, you know, later in the year, a lot of the older vets, I took pride in myself in uh, trying to lead by example for the younger guys. So whenever I was able to, you know, play well or, you know, even if I was playing bad, just pick up, you know, the younger guys when they're having the game and they're picking up the slack. Um, I really enjoyed playing that role for the team. And uh, it was new for me. So, you know, I'm 29, I'm about to turn 30. And I'm not a, I'm not a spring chicken anymore as far as, you know, uh, professional years go, but you know I think this is a a, a place where um, you know they enabled me to come in and just do my job and enjoy doing it and uh, you know trying to inspire the younger guys. How unique was the kind of culture building this year in terms of compared to other teams that you've been a part of? It seems very different here with the our way mentality oh, yeah. and stuff you guys are doing. It's a culture that is like I think prided on being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Like we do a lot of things that are out of the ordinary, but sometimes you have to do something out of the ordinary to offset, um, you know, any stress or, you know, feelings of disappointment in the game prior, or, you know, just to kind of like hit the reset buttons, um, sort, of, sort of. And, um, you know, we do a lot of things like, you know, going around and, getting uh, everybody upstairs in, in the front office to get hype and, you know, say our chance, the our way um, chance and everything. It's just um, a culture that I really think is healthy um, for a professional team. You know, learning to be comfortable with being uncomfortable um, with everything that is, is, is associated with being a professional basketball player. I think it developed a, a, a strong camaraderie amongst the guys, kind of like you're going to war with your team. Um, it has to be a tight knit, you know, feel, a, a genuine feel that everybody uh, cares and, and is in it together. And I feel like the culture um, makes it that much easier um, on the court to, to accomplish that. What are you hoping to kind of get into with basketball? You know, I'm still doing some searching on that, um, you know, from, from the inside, trying to figure out um, deep down what I want the most. And I do believe it's, it's to be back in the league. Um, you know, it might take a couple of days a week or so to kind of figure out how and what my plan of action is and how I want to go about that. Um, do I want to do summer league again? Do I want to try and just, you know, go play someplace and make some extra money and, uh, you know, hopefully get a, a training camp invite in, in the meantime. All of these um, thoughts have been going through my head over the recent weeks and, you know, just trying to finish strong in the G League for my team as well and, uh, you know, try to help, you know, any case I can make uh, to, to get back to the league.